I was talking to his mother back there before, Carol, and uh, it was about 17 odd years ago. Carol, uh, Carol dropped Matt round to me and my now wife's apartment, and uh, and dropped him off there. And it was a start for the start of the 2001 season, I think, uh, 1991 season it was. And she said, uh, "Here you go, get out. He's your problem now." And uh, so I just said to her before, I said, "You can have him back." <laughs> so. Uh, no, it's all been good. I mean, um, it, uh, it's obviously the results speak for themselves, but uh, racing has its ups and downs. But, you know, you've you got to take the good with the bad. And he always, uh, when, he, when he puts his helmet on, you know, he, he goes out there and he puts 100% in. So you, you can't ask for any more than that. You came here in 95, not 96. Yep. And uh, you won races pretty much straight away. Not in the first year. Not the first year no. you No, no. So it was when you went on the Ferrachi. Yep. You started winning when races. I, when I went with Ferrachi that yep. first year, I won the first race that year and yeah, won a few more. And did it, were you on pace in your mind when you won the championship? the first one in 99 is that kind of along the level at which you of your expectations or oh no I thought we we're going to win the first year we came here oh yeah 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 100 percent I mean I I was under I had no reason to believe that the American road races were better than the Australian road races I still don't believe it um there's no reason to believe it it's like believing the world championship guys are better than the American road race guys what we're seeing this year the sort of level that top AMA guys are at compared to the world guys with Ben over there. So I thought we we're gonna win in the first year and we led we actually led quite a few races, but the you know, the bike just wasn't at the point um, that it was capable of going the type of pace it needed to go for the whole race. So but uh, yeah we led quite a few races and done pretty well. I mean we were on the podium a number of times and which is you know it's a lot better than what they were doing before that for a while anyway. Yeah. That first championship, you had mentioned something in a press conference last year that you had won a championship winning only one race and you had lost a championship winning 13 races, I think it was. Yeah, or 12, or I think. 12 yep. or whatever. Yep. How hard was that first one? That was the one in which you only oh, won one race. It was very hard, yeah. It came down to the last race, that first one uh, with Ben Bostrom, actually. Was he riding a Ducati or a Honda then? I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, it came down to like six points in the end. Yeah, didn't it? it wasn't much at the end, and essentially whoever beat each other in that race um, got the championship. Essentially, so it was at Colorado last race, and I uh, I took off from the start like a dog shot in the ass, and got out to about ten second lead. And uh, at that stage, Bostrom was back in fifth place and flailing around back there, and and uh, I just sort of cruised home. From there, didn't win the race in the end, but I just sort of cruised home and being the first championship, just wanted to bring it home, you know. So, yeah.